Hi guys, Glader here. So today I have another video about the free prep for proxy. More specifically, this is a video about logging into a vanilla WoW server with the Wrathful Lichen client. In the last video, which you should go watch if you haven't seen, we were able to log into the world, but we couldn't really see anyone and it, well, we <laughs> couldn't really do anything. So today, I want to log in again and show you what small progress has been made to essentially move towards playing the game. Now, you can't play it just yet, but I want to show you that things are, the world is slowly coming together piece by piece. So I'm now running my own uh, Mango Zero server because I needed additional information about the packets that were being received and processed on the server, which I couldn't do on a public server. The last video I was in, I tested it on the community server called Phoenix, made by like old community members from Phoenix, but I don't have access to that server, so I couldn't get packet logs or anything like that. So we're at the character screen again on our uh, vanilla WoW server, and I'm going to go ahead and log into the world. We should pop up here. Yep, in fact, we do pop up here. And we now have some spells on our bars. Now, these probably aren't the correct spell definitions, but we can get spells on the bars now. So, that packet wasn't too crazy. But, one thing I did work on, but it doesn't work just yet, is key bindings. See, we have no key bindings. I thought I implemented the packet correctly, but I don't have any packet captures to create some tests for that yet. So, you can see that we can now actually see. Rejuve 2. And, and in fact, we can see on Rejuve 2 screen that I have targeted Rejuve 2. Now, I didn't even know that we could do that yet, so let's target something else on the screen. And you can see I'm targeting Harb Claw So you can see that we actually really are connected. And this is a vanilla client. Let me show you. You can see it's a vanilla client. This is a Wrath client. So. There's some name queries implemented. You can see people's names. You can't see people characters move just yet or other players move just yet. But you can now see NPCs, even if they are maybe incorrect visually with what they're wearing. I'm not sure what else. I think that's it for now. I can't wait till we can do more, till we can move around and actually interact with the world. But as you can see, we can do some very basic interactions. So that's going to be the video for today. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope to have a more playable version at some point. See you in the next video.